Alright, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Hannah, if you don't know me. And if you do, I'm sorry. I'm gonna teach you how I do winged eyeliner, and it's probably gonna go horribly, because I haven't worn eyeliner in a hot minute. Ooh, you can see how dry my skin is! Yay! I've used a couple of different eyeliners before. I've used a lot of different eyeliners, actually. I've used just a pencil. I've used, um... The like liquid ones that come in the little triangle shaped things and like the little thing, the little brush comes out and you just like, doo -doo. I used to use those. I don't like those very much. Um, I don't like pencils very much either, not for a wing eyeliner. Um, I've used the little pen marker things, the little felt tip liners, and I've used gel liner. And um, I actually might do one of each. I, use, I regularly use the felt tip pens, and I also regularly use a gel liner from Tarte or clay liner from Tarte. And so we're gonna probably do one of each, see how they turn out. Kat Von D Trooper liner, which is my favorite liner on the planet. And then there's this, I don't know how to say it, like Seate Fierce Flicks liner, and I've only used that one time. This is not waterproof. I used this and cried and it came off. This one usually stays. I think it's come off one time. So we're going to do that over here, and we're going to do this Tardis clay liner in the shade black. I'm going to do the other side, but I'm going to bring you guys in closer, so. And you're going to get to see all of my dry skin. This is great. So I start doing the top eyelid area first. Okay, I don't think I've ever talked to put eyeliner on at the same time, and holy shit, that's hard. You want to make sure you get as close to your lash line as possible. So that there isn't any, um, like, gaps. And when I do my wing, I always do the bottom line first, which I've heard makes my life harder, but that's okay. My tattoo liner is almost empty. I like to, like, brush off all of the excess when I do mascara. I don't know why. I've always been that way. Oh wait, I need to curl my lashes first. When I put mascara on, I always like brush it side to side as I'm pulling it up. So that it coats like every hair all the way around. And I know most people don't like the, or a lot of people don't like the in your face bottom lashes done up. But, ah! I got it on my, see, this is why I always scrape off the excess. But I like the uh, spider coming out of your eye kind of look. This eye look ridiculous. This brush isn't as um, pointed as I would like it to be. Like, it doesn't stay small at the end. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't stay super pointed and it's probably not gonna focus, but that's okay. I just like squeeze up some of it and then just like dab her in there. And then we're gonna take it to my Good morning, good morning. It's like three o'clock <laughs> in the afternoon. Like, there's no reason for me to sing that song. I'm gonna do this one just like I did the other one where I do across my eyelid first. I think it's great to follow your eyelid 
first because it keeps your eye shape better. But I mean, if you want to do a different way because you don't like your eye shape, I'm not going to stop you. And when you're doing eyeliner, especially one like this, where you have to wait for it to dry, I would recommend that you keep your eye closed for as long as physically possible because if you open it and it's not dry, you're going to have like an imprint up in your crease area and it's not going to be cute. And this is what you're going for, and then it's hella cute. how I do my eyeliner. Um, everybody has different eyes. Everybody does their eyeliner a little different. So obviously this might not work for you, but it works for me. And the wings are very different. That's okay. But yeah, so I hope you liked this video. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe for all kinds of new fun content all the time. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye. Don't hate me cause I get